Hey, what's up guys? Footy Manager TV here, and this is episode 2 of my Plymouth Argyle career, which is just a pre-season uh, update, which I'll have another video of this, uh, like a second pre-season update, then I'll get in straight into the games. Uh, and yeah, like I mentioned, my last Newcastle game, I'm going to be playing on professional after a couple games. Uh, I already explained enough in that, so go and watch that, my uh, episode 20. Uh, but anyway, moving on to this, uh, here's some... Uh, more realistic signings to go for for a lower team. I know a lot of people go for players like Lucas Piazon, but it's not re realistic he's going to go to a uh, a League 2 team in the like, Empower League 2. But he is, I've got to go for free transfers uh, because the budget, uh, you got to, when you're in the lower leagues, uh, free transfers is the best to do because uh, then you can later sell them on uh, for extra money. So here's one guy who can play defensive midfielder or left mid, but I'm going to play him center mid because he's better attacking. Uh, uh, Balon, he's young. He's oh, he's not too young, but 24 is pretty young. He still can improve. That's that's what I basically mean. Uh, he can still improve in his overall, and then we can sell him on for more. But I don't think I'd be sell selling him in any time soon because he's uh, actually our best player. And here we got some guys we transfer listed or alone listed and transfer listed. One striker, Nick Chadwick, who's probably not good enough for our team, and he's just going to keep decreasing because he's uh, hitting that 30 years of age now. So. Um, he's just going to keep decreasing, and his attributes aren't that impressive. Um, yeah, like I said, really slow, which is not good enough uh, for us. Have we got better strikers? And we're actually going to transfer list another striker a bit later in the career, or in the next preseason game, so or preseason uh, episode, uh, because I just want to, because we got this Alex McDonald on loan. Um, even though I know people say you shouldn't play the on loan players because they're going to improve for another team, but the reason you got him on loan is to help to help your team and to help you get promoted for your squad depth. So you don't just leave them there doing nothing or their morale is going to be low and they're not actually going to help you, which is the reason you got them for. And here's the very important uh, contracts. We've only got three contracts for two years. So um, the rest of the players, they're going to be out of contract if we don't renew them. So I've got to make really decisions which players are going to be part of, the, part of my plans in the future and which players are not. It really just depends how much uh, budget I'll have to bring in new players. Um, here we got our scout coming in, and we're going to scout England, which is realistic. As really in real life, a League Two team won't have the resources to scout outside of England, like um, in different European countries and even South America and countries like that, because they just don't have the money. Uh, but here, uh, what you got to do in these lower leagues, just, just get the lowest scout as you can. Doesn't matter if he's not good or not, because you're going to get heaps of guys for you. And generally, the players they're going to be good enough uh, for this level. Like they're going to be good enough, good as your other players. So hopefully, um, he he can pick up some guys for us. Get a bit lucky, as you can see here. I wasn't quite uh, what would be, wasn't quite sure what would be the best option financially to go with the like nine months or two or oh, three months. I went with three months because I just wanted to get some uh, spend as little as I could and get some guys in, but not too many because obviously it'll cost a lot to get a few guys in. But anyway, we got Ballon, which I was really happy about. He's really good for this uh, League 2 level. Um, yeah, he's really above um, any level of other players uh, we got. And yeah, he's probably one of the better players in the league. As you can see, his attributes are way above anyone else. He's got a, quite a few yellows of the technical passing, uh, with his passing attributes, creative stuff. Uh, yeah, those kind of attributes, which is important for his midfield position. And as you can see, the formation we're playing 4-3-3, uh, which is really a high passing uh, formation, which... Um, he suits in perfectly. Also, as I mentioned, I'll be playing on professional. I said I'll be starting on world class. I tried a few matches on world class, and you'll be able to see I just couldn't play. For me, world class, I can't really... My control doesn't respond fast as it does on professional. Like, it's EA's, uh, at least on my game, um, that's how they're making it harder, which they shouldn't. They shouldn't impair your players. They should, yes, make that opposition better, but not make your players worse. Because that's how I feel uh, that it's affected. That they make your players worse. It's harder for... Uh, it's like button lag, pretty much. Like, when you play online and it's a lag match, that's how it is. Sometimes when I pass it, it passes a second later than I actually press the button. So, yeah, that's just why I'm going to play that. And on professional, my game is really uh, fluid. And on world class, it seems really slow to me. But anyway, I talked about that in my last Newcastle episode. So, uh, go uh, yeah, that's pretty much... I'll talk about that. Anyway, we've got our first uh, friendly match against Crew. Um, hopefully we can get a result, 
Uh, they have a pretty good team. They got actually Paul Pogba on loan, which when I saw him in the team, I, I thought he would just dominate. And we just simulated the match, but yeah, I thought it was very hard. Uh, this young guy here wants to get a chance, but unfortunately, uh, we got even a better young guy, Leconte. Uh, he's already in the uh, starting 11. He's actually only 17 years of age as well, younger than him, and he's better, 80 potential. He's going to be a superstar, uh, good enough potential for the Premier League, and he'll be worth over uh, around 10 million, I'd probably say. Just depends how, how good he develops, and even if he, if he plays good with good form, he could even exceed that. That's one thing on potential. If you see the potential is 80, it's not going to be exactly that. It might be better, might not even reach that if you don't play him and he, uh, he's not in good, he doesn't really play good ever or gets lots of injuries. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's a good thing I like about the game. There's a lot of uh, factors involved uh, for the potential. But here's the result right here, 3-1, which is a fantastic result against a game I was really expecting to lose with Pogba, as you can see in their team. So obviously uh, we got the talent, but 4-3-3 is always a good formation. If you're going to do a sim match, 4-3-3 uh, is really good. Uh, uh, I, it was 4-3-3 holding formation. They've got a lot of 4-3-3s. Holding is probably the best one I recommend, um, e even if you're not expected to win even more so. And here we've got a match against a uh, Norwegian team, which I really didn't expect to, uh, to win because they're, that's a really higher level than we're at. Uh, obviously, the Norway League's not superstar. They're pretty good, but obviously not uh, the same level as like Spanish, English, Italian, French, those kind of leagues, but still better uh, than N Power League 2. But hopefully, we can give a good match uh, in the simulate. As you saw there, Gorman, uh, he's on loan. Like I said, even though he's on loan, I'm still going to play him because that's the purpose of being on loan, to give cover to your first team. And don't just worry about he's going to improve for another team. You're in the bottom leagues pretty much. So um, you shouldn't be worrying about that. You should be worrying about getting promoted. And yeah, the pro um, uh, that's what you've got to be uh, focused on. Anyway, uh, we changed some players in the team there. Simulate the match again. Like I said, I didn't expect to win this. Um, so let's see what happened here. Uh, we got they got 4-4-2 formation. Uh, they've got a few good players. Uh, but yeah, look at that, 4-0. Obviously, their team is way better. Villarenga, Vel, Vellarenga, I'm not sure how to pronounce the name. But yeah, they're a team in the Norwegian First League. Uh, so they must be pretty good. As you see here, predicted to finish 8th. Our board only expects us to finish like about 18th. But I want to really exceed that and try and get promoted. But we're only predicted to come around 8th. As you, and you were able to see with the start, we didn't start too well. But uh, you just got to see with the results. Um... Uh, when I say I didn't start too well, uh, it's not like we lost bad or anything like that. It's just the way I played. Like I said, I'm world class. I didn't feel uh, the game really played well. But yeah, you'll be able to see that in future matches. So like, subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll be making a lot of more videos with this and Newcastle as well. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys soon with some more videos.